second. Morning, ladies and gents. New shave you today. How y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing pretty good because I'm doing pretty good too. Now, if you made it past that intro, awesome. If it was too much for you, sorry. It was a little bit darker kind of video, but we're still gonna have more fun with it, right? Okay. Start off. DE razor we're going to be using today is have something I haven't used in a while. It's my, uh, my Detroit grooming company, long handled DE razor. It's already loaded up in there with a brand new boss hog blade. So yeah, boss hog blade. That's what we got in there. Okay, soap we're gonna be using today is, yeah, I'll show you the box first because I don't think anybody else ever, ever talked about the box. This is a box that it came in. And I think as cool is, I don't know if you guys can see it very good. There's a, the T for the, the shaving. It's a um, cordless drill and on top of there you got a, a brush. I wanna point that out. I don't think anyone said anything about it, but yeah, that's cool. Cool writing, the shaving. Anyway, soap we're going to be using today is Cyber Monday Limited Edition 2020. And it is, what is it? The Shaving. Got Ray Pope, the Pope Shaves, and you got Anthony Esposito, the Stallion, on there. <laughs> playing Jack's part is Ray, and then you got Anthony playing Wendy's part, or Shelly Duvall. Yeah, very, very awesome, awesome label. Cyber Monday holographic thing <clears throat> that's so cool it's so cool that he actually did that and no knife or nothing but just <laughs> you guys know this movie yeah this is amazing now this is a cyber monday release the label you got douglas smite there he's playing danny the whole label goes around there's the ingredients and stuff <clears throat> now this is formula ck6 now this is a limited edition holographic label there was only 50 of them Oh, Lord. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute. Under the label, you have this. This is what mine looks like. <clears throat> Here's Ray, the shaving. Ray Rum, Ray Rum. Congra congrats. You are one of the lucky few chosen by destiny to try to own a true Lost Phoenix shaving classic. Ray Rum. This one is for you, Ray. D. Smythe, 11-30-2020. Limited number 14. I have number 14. I gotta set this aside because I don't want to ruin that at all. I gotta save that. I actually got number 14. Uh, I am CDB. Uh, he got number 16. Raza, shaving with Raza. He got number 24. Uh, Shave Cave got number 45. And Magic Mike got number 3. I don't know who else who else got what number. If you're watching my channel and you actually got one of the holographic labels, comment below and tell me what number you want. I want to know who got every single one of the first 50. That would be so cool to find out who got all 50 of them. So this was originally released December 19th, 2014. Exactly six years to this day. Today is December 19th. <laughs> Scent profile, oh, man. Now, if you're gonna watch to the very end, the soap does smell different than the splash, and I'll explain the splash too, if you, if you make it to the end of my video. <laughs> Spot off the puck, and look at that, ooh, yeah, yeah. Sam Profile, buttery vanilla, <clears throat> fresh whipped cream, toffee, a dash of nutmeg, toasted coconut, select West Indian herbs, benzoin resin, spices, and more than a few glorious notes, a few glorious citrus notes, lime and blood orange. Peppermint hydrosol is in the aftershave. Epic Gourmand, yeah, this buttery, vanilla-y, toasty, toffee, my nose to me. Almost graham cracker like to me, epic gourmand. Like it smells like graham crackers. Like if this was sold in like the cracker aisle or whatever, I would be like, I would eat it because it smells so good. You want to eat it, but you can't eat the soap. It's so oh amazing. So yeah, let's get into this. It also came with this cool little pin, the shaving. Merry Christmas, Ray Rum. Ray Rum, yeah. Brush we're gonna be using today, a fitting brush, right? Rich Man Shaving Group, Blood Oath. Ooh, yeah. Kind of bloody in the beginning, right? Yeah. F2 Innovator Knot. I know Ray Pope's not a fan of synthetic 
not a fan of synthetic brushes, so we're going with this one, not synthetic. And I know also Ray Post from Chicago. I don't. I'm actually. I actually. I'm a. I'm an NHL fan, so I do. Ha I like Patrick Kane and I like uh, Taves. Kane is really good, even though all the stuff you hear about him off the ice. Any NHL fan would love to have Kaner on their team because he's he's amazing. But I don't have my jerseys here, but I got my Chicago Blackhawks for Ray Pope today because he's he's from Chicago. Now this is an old one. This is from the 90s when they're made in Slovakia. And now they're made in Canada by uh Sherwood. But yeah, so we keep this in there. I'll put the brush on top of that today. Yeah. Shy Town. Let's get into this. <laughs> With face. Oh, so how are you guys doing today? I'm actually going to. Um, oh, I can't speak today. Hang on. <laughs> Appreciate we're gonna be using today. Mentholator Q 2.0. Now I only heard about the stallion this year, at the beginning of the year, and that's how I heard about him. And from what I've heard from other people say. Because I kind of got into the wet shaving thing kind of late. Um, Ray Pope's back now. So, I'll put down below a link to... Um, if, you, if you don't know who they are, I'll put a link down below to um, Ray Pope, the Pope Shave, deal with it. <coughs> and uh, Anthony Esposito, the Stallion. I'll put a link down below those channel, their channels so you can check them out. Just in case you've never heard of them, which I think a lot of people already have. So, But you never know. But, yeah, I didn't... The beginning of the year, I found out who the stallion was, and a couple months ago, I found out who Ray Pope was because he came back. And it was a really, really, really big thing on it. I think it's a Lather and Blade um, YouTube channel, or Facebook channel. And everyone's like, Ray's back, and he did a live video, and there's like a thousand views or a thousand comments or something, so pretty amazing. But yeah, we started his channel back up too. I guess back in the day, him and uh, Anthony have the lather battle. This is what I've heard. I didn't get to see it. I would have loved to have seen it. <laughs> like I said, I got into the shave thing rather late. All right. Probably should have soaked the brush, but it should be fine. I'll just put it in a little bit of warm water. Yeah, they used to have lather battles back and forth. And from the stuff that I heard them say, they. <laughs> <clears throat> from what I've heard through the grapevine. I heard the, they used to use some pretty colorful words. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. But it was all in good fun. It wasn't like they hated each other. It was, you know, dudes talking to each other, but just making videos about it. I love to have seen that. Oh, man, that, was, that sounds so cool. Little water. But, yeah. But Ray Pope's back, so that's cool. Douglas Smythe, Spice, Douglas Smythe brought this soap back for him. And that's a, I think that's amazing too. All right, let's whip this up. Oh man! Right. Oh yeah, you know, lather it changes the scent of it. That's cool. That's good. That's good. More water though. CK6, you need water. Someday I'll learn how to lather correctly. <laughs> CK6 make your face feel good. Yeah, CK6, you don't need you don't need much soap. A couple swirls in the puck and you are good. But yeah. Yeah, I've been excited to do this one. I'm like, man, when am I gonna do it? When am I gonna do it? Just so happens it falls on the exact date of when it was released six years ago. I did not plan that, I promise. <laughs> scout toner. I'm not a scout. More water. <clears throat> oh, man, yeah. Graham cracker like to me. I don't know what, you know, everybody's nose is different. It's like... The way you describe something, it's not wrong. If that's what it smells like to you, that's what it smells like to you. Everybody knows, everybody's nose picks up some sort of different scent. Not everybody's gonna smell it exactly this way you smell it. Otherwise, the world would be boring. Oh, it all smells the same. 
There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Patrick Bateman, American Psycho. <laughs> yeah, I like a lot of crazy movies. Oh, yeah, I really, I really hope no one gets offended or pissed off or... <laughs> I was kind of worried about doing the intro the way I did. But I'm like, I'm going to put a disclaimer up front. And... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So... God, that smells good. Oh my God, if this was food, I would flip and eat it. It's like the best. One of Douglas Mice, to me, my 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 opinion, one of Douglas Mice's best gourmands. Huh. Wow. This, if you have this, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, man, so sorry you didn't get it. I think, I think there was a hundred release, but there was only 50 of the holographic label. Probably should have done my homework a little better, huh? I'm blocking my fingers. Pass number one, here we go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Residual slickness, mowed it down like nothing. What's odd? Not Voskhod. You guys got those Voskhod blades? Uh, no, it's a Voskhod. Sunrise, I believe. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> What's up, peeps? <laughs> Anthony Esposito, the stallion. The dude loves his Savile Row. <laughs> he watches videos? Oh, yeah. Always talking about that Savile Row. He's got one. I, he's got one. I think is a real cool looking one. He's got a um, it's like a turquoise looking colored one. The Savile Row. Beautiful flipping handle. The handle is like it's like a turquoise color. I'm like, oh my god, that looks amazing, dude. Cool, cool handle. And uh, guys like the Pope and uh, Esposito. They don't. They don't use de erasers. <laughs> They're all about the straight razor. So. I don't have my straight razors here. I only have the one, and it needs honed really, really bad. So, we're going with this. So, how y'all doing? Any plans for Christmas? I'm gonna actually be 42 tomorrow. <laughs> Can't believe that. 42. That's crazy to me, man. 42 years old. Everybody always looks. Every. It kind of bugs me, but it's not something I'm gonna complain about. Everyone always judges me about my face and how I look. They're, oh my God, you look like you're in your 20s. I'm like, I'm a 42. I feel it every day too. <laughs> you look so young. Like some days, some days I really wish people could see um, how I look on the inside compared to just, oh, look at you. Pfft, no, I don't think that way. Like the whole mask thing, I like wearing a mask at work so no one can like see me. No one can see me being <laughs> my, uh, Expressions on my face when, when a customer pisses me off. Like under the mask, I'm like this. Without the mask, I'm like, <laughs> but they can't see it. Like people complain and bitch about having to wear a freaking mask. It's like, it's a covering. You can hide behind it. I like it. And I'm hoping it's not going on forever. Because the most important thing is we gotta get rid of this damn virus. You've been here too long, COVID. Time to go home. Where's that? Death. Medium aggressive razor. This razor to me is like a medium aggressive razor. Um, like an Edwin Jagger DE9, but a little bit more aggressive. If 
but I like it. It has a nice long handle to it. In case you're a big guy and long handle, I got small hands. Plus it's Detroit, you know I'm a Red Wings fan, so. Yeah. <laughs> like my mask I wear at work. My Detroit Red Wings mask I got off eBay. People ask me all the time, from Michigan? I'm like, no, nope, born and raised in Arizona. Would you like the wings? I'm like, yep. The team I picked back in 96, so. It's weird, I, get, I meet a lot of people from Michigan. A couple from actual Det from Detroit, too. It's kind of cool. Guy's like, yeah, I'm from Detroit. Who's one of your favorite players? I'm like, Steve Eiserman and Bob Probert. Proby. Ew, don't get in your mouth. <coughs> it does not taste like ground cracker. <coughs> and he's like, dude, the shop I used to work at, I used to, Bob Probert used to come in there all the time. He's like, dude, the nicest, the nicest, nicest guy you could ever meet. I'm like, yeah, but when he was on the ice, he's like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, with them skates on, man, he stood pretty damn tall. Don't get the soap in your mouth. Ugh. Burns. Okay. It's already a long video, huh? I know. I can't do those 60 second vi video reviews like Junior though. <laughs> Pretty good though. Good content, man. 60 seconds. Short, sweet, to the point, good content. Knows what he's talking about. Those type of videos, since, you know, I edit my own stuff too. Th those type of videos, even though it's 60 seconds long, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work to make a short video like that. Even though it's 60 seconds long, it's, <laughs> you got to edit it with the camera, you know. If you edit your own stuff, you know you know what I'm talking about. It's not easy to do. Oh, it's only 60 seconds long. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it took me four hours to do, though. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey! Only doing two pass. I don't need to do three, four, five hundred pass. Two pass, I'm good. I don't have very thick hair, but you followed me for a while, you know that. <laughs> Another thing in the shave community, um, Ken Surf's actually posted on his page that he has COVID in his house, or his family got it. So, if you've made it through this far in my video, keep Ken Surf's and his family in your prayers, whatever that means. Thoughts, prayers, because, yeah, guys like him, Paul H. Films, I wouldn't be doing, you know, those guys are 20,000 subscribers, 18,000 subscribers. I wouldn't be doing my channel if it wasn't for do YouTubers like that that started me up, getting me turned on to doing this stuff. So, Ken Surf's a pretty big guy in the uh, shave community and YouTube and stuff. So, keep him in your thoughts. I know Mark a while back, <clears throat> friendship shaving, he got it too. He got COVID. He beat it. Awesome. Yeah, hopefully this damn virus goes away soon. A lot of people passed away and a lot of people have actually died from it and that's not cool. It's like everyone thought it was a joke at first and so did I. I thought, I'm like, this is a joke. Oh yeah, I'm buying up toilet paper. It's a real thing. And from, hang on. From what I've heard, um, 
My mom works at Winco. She's cashier. And she gets to see nurses all the time. And she tells all the nurses, like, how she's pissed off about nobody wearing masks. And all the nurses are like, yeah, I'm around it all the time. And what's keeping me from not getting it is wearing a mask. And it's like, a nurse is wearing a mask, you know. Nurses and all of them on the front lines, they wear masks all the time. Even when COVID's not around, they have to wear a mask. So when you go into a store for one hour and have to bitch and complain about it because you're wearing it for one hour, try doing what they have to go through and try doing what, like, I have to go through. I wear one for eight hours a day. But going back to what I was talking about my mom, she sees nurses all the time and the mask helps. And from the way this nurses describe how the patients feel before they get rid of it or God forbid, and or pass away. It's basically like when you breathe in and out, it feels like there's glass and razor blades in your lungs. Every time you breathe in and every time you breathe out, it feels like your lungs are being chopped apart by glass and razor blades. Do you really want to get that? That's horrible. God, that tastes like... <laughs> huh. Ralphie, you should try out. Huh. What did you say? Oh, fudge. I thought you said, son. Eating a life, boy. I wonder if he really ate Life Boy or had a Life Boy in his mouth or just like a plastic puck. I don't know. All right, we're good. Another damn fine shave. No nicks, no cuts, no weepers. Two in a row, that's good. Be right back. <laughs> back, yeah, damn fine shave. PBS. No nicks, no cuts. There's a little tiny weeper right there. That's nothing. Yeah, smooth. Very, very good. Very nice. Very nice. Cold water on an Allen block. <laughs> Might need an Allen block. Another one. It's not much I got left, but that's lasted me a long, long time. I know they got the new cube dock and stuff, and then, uh, from Pe uh, Phoenix Shaving. And they have, like, a black rubber band on there now. It has, like, no slip rip. Here's my old one, though. <laughs> I should put that rubber band on there myself. No sting. Good shave. Good, good shave. I like when they're good. They go good. They got good. They are good. Okay. Now, like I said in the beginning, if you made it, if you made it past the video, if you made it past six minutes and you made it this far, cool. <laughs> if not, you don't get to see this part. After shave, we're going to be using the, the shaving. A deep, a Phoenix Deep Cut. Cyber Monday Limited Edition 2020. Cool holographic label. He's got Douglas on the ground on that cool, cool looking carpet. Ah! <laughs> this smells different from the soap. The soap is vanilla y, toffee, caramel, not caramely, buttery, almost graham cracker like. Where I've already opened this, but I haven't used it. This, totally different. Totally different. It's what hits you first is. Um, a very toasted type scent, like rum, like very, very toasty. Huh. That's how I can describe it. It's like toast. Well, not toast, but yeah. It's a lot different than the soap, though. But a little the same. Yeah. Ooh, there's bay rum in there. Man, it's a very mature scent. But it smell. Oh my god, that smells good. Yeah, toasted bay rum. Wow, and a little bit of that graham cracker. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the icing on the cake. 
Oh, that smells good. We're gonna use some more. Limited edition, but hey, go big or go home. Oh man, <coughs> alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, toasted bay rum. Oh my gosh. The only really bay rum I have is cured tomate, and that's an awesome scent too. This is amazing. If you bought this and you have it, holy yeah. It smells so damn good. If you didn't, if you didn't and it does get re-released again someday, jump on it. I mean, jump on it. I did. Kind of got a heads up from uh, when Ray Pope was doing his video review on it, I think. The night, two nights, are from, two nights ago before it came out on Cyber Monday. He, he did his review on it because it was made for him. I was like, oh man, I want that. He's like, it's a Cyber Monday deal. I'm like, better keep my ear low to the ground from PAA, man, because I'm getting one. I didn't care if I got the la cool label or if I got the um, non-holographic label. I still wanted it. So shut up, Chris. Recap of what we used today. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, the shaving aftershave. Cool, cool holographic label. We also use PA Allen Block. We also use this pin. Merry Christmas. My Detroit Grooming Company DE Razor long handle with a Volshod blade, first use. Is that Volshod? Is that Volshod? There's that Volshod. Rich Man Shaving Group. Blood Oath, 26 millimeter F2 Innovator Knot. Yeah, love this brush. I love this brush. It's so flippin' amazing. I'm all into that bloody horror kind of stuff, but yeah. I only show you what... Show you a little bit of me on this channel, right? We also use the box. I think the box is very important. Something cool to point out. That's awesome. The one-time deal. And the star... Whoa, okay. We had the Blackhawks in here today, too. Got to represent Chicago, right? Shy town <laughs> Cue the Chelsea Dagger. <laughs> uh, star of the show today, guys and gals. The Shaving Phoenix Deep Cup Cyber Monday Limited Edition 2020. Ray Rum! Ray Rum! Wendy, I'm home. <laughs> if you guys have seen The Shining, you know, man. You know that movie. If you're a little kid and you don't know, you shouldn't be on my channel. Right? Ooh, I got water on it. I have a lot of water on there. My number's 14. That's it. It's the shave of the day, guys, so damn good one, too. That's it for now. So, hope you ladies and gents have a good day, good week. And we also use the cube, pre-shave cube. I use too much stuff, don't I? <laughs> have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. I'm not going to say, oh, you have to say it this way. No, 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 no. To Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy whatever the heck, Happy Hanukkah, your eight days of crazy nights. <laughs> Happy holidays to you all, and to all a good night. See you, ladies and gents, soon. Bye, guys. Ray Rob! Ray Rob!